Hello, angel babies. I need to be asleep, but I kept feeling like I should do another reading, okay? I feel like a lot of y'all, like, um, have been just dealing with, like, a bunch of stuff. Like, a bunch of negativity kind of coming from everywhere and nowhere at the same time. All right? And I feel like, for some of you, y'all want to know what the karma is if people continue to mess with you. Or if people continue to kind of like, you know, just trying to rain on your day, all right? It says, I won't cry for you. Yeah, you got some heartless ass people here, all right? Like, those, these tears are literally like blood, okay? Literally like blood. Like, you got some people pissed off, all right? Pissed off that you were able to build something. And possibly that you were able to like build something without them. going envy is gluttony didn't i say that somebody's mad that you were able to build something without them okay they're envious of you yeah this person is stuck <laughs> this person is stuck they're stuck not being able to transform in the way that they want to all right it's like they um Ooh, for some of y'all, it's like y'all build a bridge, this person burns it down. Y'all build a bridge, this person burns it down by lying, okay? By being a deceptive ass person. For some of y'all, this person is disguised as your true love, all right? Let's keep going. We have nourishment, okay? And that's out of seven. So I feel like somebody has been pumping you for lies, okay? Because seven here with deception... And nourishment, god damn. Okay. What else do we have here? Abundance. Yeah, somebody's not somebody's stuck not being able to get some type of abundance here. And that's divine, because we have 38 here, so it's like three plus eight. <laughs> Three plus eight is 11, all right? So this is divinely orchestrated. For some of y'all, y'all need to start worshiping Artemis. She's the god of the moon, all right? That's why you're stuck and you're having this stuck-ass energy. But for this person, they see your abundance coming in and they are stuck, okay? They see you nourishing yourself and they are lying to themselves, okay? Um, Yeah, we also have patience, okay? So you are patient. You are patiently, diligently doing the work to change, all right? You are patiently, diligently, like, baby steps along this long-ass bridge to try and change. And I feel like you hit an ending that literally took you through a portal, okay? Literally took you to a new place. So the last time this person burned this bridge, you were just like, you know, it, it's good. We're done. I don't need to come back this way. I can find my own path, all right? And somebody's mad as the fuck, okay? Somebody's, somebody's mad as fuck. I'm hearing a switch decks. We're going to take these two. God damn. I don't know what y'all did. Probably nothing. I might have just got a new job or something. And somebody's just being a fucking hater. Let's see, what is this? Trust, yes, all right? You're learning to trust yourself, okay? Trust the changes, because we have 32, three plus two is five. You're learning to trust yourself, all right? For some of y'all, do y'all see how... <laughs> Let me pick this up. For some of y'all, do y'all see how, like, this person or whatever is in, like, a little cocoon and they're, like, slowly growing, all right? And you have birds nesting on top of them? Like, literally, y'all got people poking and prodding and stalking and watching and doing all kinds of shit just trying to burst your fucking bubble, okay? Because this person is jealous. They want to purposely make you upset because you're happy. That's disgusting. We also have assessing. Yes. So, somebody is assessing and looking at an ending. They're trying to figure out, you see how this person, she blew herself up in the sky so that she could see you know, things from a higher perspective, okay? And she's getting guidance from the moon about things that are hidden, all right? And that's clarifying, you know, I won't cry for you. So somebody here is secretly fucking heartless. <laughs> somebody here doesn't give a fuck about anything. Like, I feel like this is the type of person that, like, 
literally like the worst thing could happen to you and they just take that opportunity to stab you in the back all right but we'll see what the ancestors have to say about that let's use this oh shield yourself came out okay listen to your intuitive feelings all right, so whatever messages that you're getting about this person being a cold, somebody's a sociopath and they're a female sociopath. All they do is stalk and watch, sit back and collect information. They may be disguised as somebody who's like really outgoing, somebody who's like very social, somebody who tries to, you know, be nice. Yeah, we have, you are profoundly clairvoyant. Trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as your <laughs> physical sight for your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. Literally, the angels are here clearing the pathway for you so that you can see. Some of y'all are having visions or dreams about this person in their true form. All right. So <laughs> Archangel Raphael says the healing angel is with you supporting your healing work. Okay. So this is a divinely guided fucking message. Okay, whether I use this deck or not. Mm. Somebody's like doubting you though. Like doubting you and your work. <laughs> Somebody doesn't know that they're a whole ass fucking demon and that shit ain't me, bitch. It's you. It's you. That's why you can't sleep at night. That's why you have those feelings of feeling like you're going to die at night if you close your eyes for longer than a half a second you got to jump up out your chair and get up and move because you know that your heart is rotten on the inside you have a void there because a childhood trauma that you don't want to clean up and that's nobody's fault but yours judgment is coming for this person didn't i tell you manifestation power all right Use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. Somebody saw you manifesting something that they can't get their hands on. I'm, I keep telling you, like, um, I don't know. For some of you, this is like a mother figure. For others of you, this could be like a, a close, it could be like an honor, a grandmother or something like that too. Five of cups. Yeah, they're feeling real sad and they're feeling sad because they're no longer delusional. All right, with the seven of pentacles here in the reverse, they were sowing nothing but bad seeds and deception. All right, and now they're sad because they're stuck. Well, you can't lie and expect to fucking get somewhere. It doesn't work like that. I don't know if I should take all of this. Let's just get to let's be real specific here. On the wings of an angel. That is funny. Somebody sent you like a familiar spirit, okay? Um, like somebody to like watch over you. Like you remember like those animals? Oh shoot, somebody might have sent you like an animal, like a random animal may have landed on your doorstep. All right, but what this person didn't know is that they're weak ass magic, okay? Things on your doorstep mean something good, okay? And my ancestors gave me a dream right after that, talking about blessings falling from the sky. So ain't nobody stop your manifestation power. That's why they stuck. That's why they can't transform. Because nobody stopped what you were able to do. Nobody can stop what you're able to do. This person is just, oh. If you get nervous, focus on service. Put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? The law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. Even now, spirit loves you enough to tell you to stop minding other people's fucking business. All right? And do your own fucking work. That's why you're stuck. That's why you're upset. That's why you're not abundant. It's because you don't want to clear out these goddamn childhood wounds. You'd rather grow your shadow so fucking big that it takes over you to the point where you literally don't even feel anything anymore. That's nobody's fault but yours. Like, this is the type of person, like, parents been dead, but you sitting here, oh, this and that happened, this, 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 this. You know what I mean? Like, this is somebody that tries to make it seem like everything's fine, they're over everything. You know what I mean? Nothing bothers them. Like, they have no feelings, and the crazy part is they do. And it's a shield yourself from this person. Yeah, continue to nourish yourself, continue to bask in your glow of abundance, okay, without this person. It's an envision a cocoon, 
of healing light surrounding you, all right? So that's what you can do, like to get rid of any harsh fear-based energies around you, angel babies. Protect yourself. You can sing and dance. Or maybe this person has been singing and dancing. <laughs> Express yourself and awaken, awaken your psychic abilities through the magical power of music and movement. So for some of y'all, and like, y'all don't understand, we have Archangel Michael coming out, okay? And it says, you're working very closely with this powerful angel who is protecting and guiding you through this situation. All right, I am protected at all, any cost, okay, at any cost by my ancestors. All negative things are being sent back, returned to sender. All right? And Archangel Joe Michael is popping out to tell you that you better watch out. All right? I feel like for some of you, this person is kind of like relentless. Like this is the type of person that just feels like um, anything goes. Like this person is real dark in the fucking head. Um, this person is like cold, calculated. When they do things that hurt you, it is, <laughs> you best believe this person knows what they're doing because it is on purpose. Yeah, this person may be a friend or a colleague, somebody that you work with. <laughs> this person may be a vegetarian or a vegan, okay? Um, but also here it says, Eat foods that elevate your spiritual frequency, okay? So some of you might want to think about eating more fruits and vegetables, all right? Um, what you don't understand for the person that it resonates with you with is, it, like, spirit is telling me all your tips and tricks because everything's out in the open, sweetheart. You're so closed down and so void on the inside that you don't even realize that, like, your entire personality is on display for the world to see. You think you're hiding, but you're not. Like when my grandma came through and said, we can see you, we can see you. I am not beautiful. I don't know why, but I'm thinking about my mom right now. She said, when you ask me what's my name, I'm gonna tell you Penny Fontaine. Okay, I ain't putting Fontaine. I, I'm not this. I'm not an average Joe. Okay, I'm not a bitch from up the block. All right, that's what you need to be telling this person. All right, claim victory over yourself. Claim victory. Y'all might find somebody. Somebody might find somebody dead in the bed because I felt swear I just felt like in my mind's eye I saw somebody's head looking kind of grotesque. In the bed. Somebody, somebody may roll over and somebody may be gone. I'm sorry if that's that's too much for some of y'all. And that looks like a bear. Or like a hog. I don't know. What is this? Is that bothering you? It looks like a bear or something right here. I don't know if you can see that. But this person sleeps like a fucking bear, probably. And I feel like what's going to wake this person up is they're going to be completely, like, silent. Like, the, the some of their partner is going to actually get, like, a restful night's sleep. And that's how they're going to know that something may be wrong with this person that you're inquiring about, Angel Baby. Whoever this person is. And they may look like they don't see no ghosts because they're going to be very afraid to go. This earthly realm, them not evolving or doing the work to get, you know, work out their own manifestation. Ooh, wee. Ace of Cups heals all diseases, disorders, brings good familiars, teaches philosophy and the uses of herbs. You are profoundly clairvoyant. This person knows how to heal themselves, but they just ain't going to do it. And you knew how to heal yourself. And because you healed yourself, you have some clairvoyant abilities or something about you that, you know, you were able to truly develop and put your time and effort in. Okay. So I feel like you gave yourself the damn ace of cups. Oh, we have the queen of pentacles. Transmutes water into wine, can turn any metal into gold, makes one wise and teaches everything. For some of y'all, y'all were able to heal yourself. Trust yourself, invest in yourself, okay? 
And you, you literally, Archangel Raphael is the, the angel of healing. All right? Like, bruh, this person is mad as fuck that you gave yourself the courage, the love, the self-love, or whatever it is that you needed to move on emotionally to build a fucking empire. And you could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Somebody can't communicate with you. They can't touch you. They can't bother you. They can't do nothing because you're protected. And it's their judgment, okay? And they think that they can be patient. But no, you're not being patient with them and waiting for them to come to you. You're being patient with yourself, okay? It has nothing to do with whatever this person has going on. This person is in their own head because they decided not to heal, all right? That's why they keep burning bridges because they decided not to heal. They keep making it seem like it's you burning bridges when in reality, they don't want to look at themselves because they're so far removed from their human emotion that they literally are telling you they cannot even cry for you. They can't even feel any empathy for you because their childhood wounds run so fucking deep that they are a soulless monster. For some of y'all, this person has stories about parental abuse, all right? Abuse from their parents when they were a child that they randomly tell people and you don't even, it's more traumatic than what you even think, all right? Like, after you think about it or after this person tells a story, like, they're, you're surprised because they don't even, it doesn't register in their brain that it was a traumatic, it should be, like, a traumatic experience. Like, that's how much child abuse that this person is still harm. This person is a little girl in a grown woman's body that temper tantrums every time she don't get what she wants. Moving on. Like I said, somebody's lying. Inflames men with women's love and women with men's love causes them to show themselves naked if desired. This person doesn't want to show them who, who they really are. They don't want to show that they're really a person that burns bridges, that deserves the negativity that they have coming to them because of the shit that they put out. Honestly, they don't understand the power of manifestation all right, like you cannot mess with somebody that's anointed, that's protected, okay, that d d doesn't go out. Of, you know, this person, you know, you may have slipped up here or there, but you don't go out of your way, angel baby, to go, you know, hurt anybody or to do anything. And I feel like for some of y'all, that also makes this person jealous. That also makes this person mad that it's like no matter how much they do to you, you are still able to manifest. You're still able to be okay. And it really fucks this person up. And I feel like you've cut them off because the ace of swords in reverse, you're not even in communication with this person. It's like almost like you could care less what this person is doing. So let's keep going. And it's something about this person's eyes, by the way. Like, they um, they may have big eyes, but I feel like it's dark eyes. Their eyes are dark. Like, you can tell by looking in this person's eyes that it's just like there's just nothing behind them. There's just nothing there. For some of you, trigger warning, this person suffered a lot of sexual abuse with the same people that they grew up in the house with. And they really haven't gotten over it. They actually take pleasure in hurting other people and taking their ace of cups away. All right. So this person may be like a narcissist or a, I'm feeling like it's more than a narcissist. It's like a sociopath because of how much abuse they endured. So now they enjoy inflicting abuse on other people. We have Eight of Swords. Kills by drowning and can sink ships, controls the seas, the winds, and will spare any life by request. So I feel like this person wants to reach out for help, all right? They want to reach out for help because they feel bound. They feel tied up. They don't feel like, you know, um, they can get by. They don't feel like, you know, they just feel literally tied up. And I feel like they feel tied up, all right, because you won't speak to them, okay? And it says if you get nervous, focus on service. So it's just like... 
if you're nervous about this person coming back, please don't be because they're not going to be able to do nothing to you. They're not going to be able to. As soon as, okay, all negative things are being sent back, returned to sender. So it doesn't matter what this person does to you because I literally channeled that before I decided to do this video. Angels want to let you know, like, shield yourself, but, like, we got you. Death in reverse. Yeah, bitch, that shit ain't gonna work. Them chains is coming off. No longer bound. All right? You're not trapped, angel baby. You've shielded yourself. You're nourishing yourself. You love yourself. So it's like this deception that was making you feel like you didn't have any other options. You didn't have nowhere else to go. You didn't do... Yeah, no okay and it says provides liberation and illumination and insights jealousy and envy so as you are freeing yourself from this prison okay whether it was mental emotional a relationship um any type of relationship really a career a job or whatever this person is so fucking jealous this person is so mad if you could peel your skin off, angel baby, and this person could put it on so they could somehow be you, they would do it. And this is Scorpionic energy. This person could be a Scorpio. I have that somewhere in their chart. All right. But it's like this. Oh, this has come to an end. Yeah, the devil in reverse. This is an inevitable end. The devil in reverse. You are not bound by not a goddamn thing. Nothing this person can throw at you will ever work, ever. Now until eternity with ease. You ain't even got to think about it before that shit bounces back and they fit. It doesn't even go out of their sphere of energy. It bounces right back and it bounces back 10 million times harder than it would have ever done it if it had even came to you. Because this person, this person realizes that they have no power and they don't know what the fuck to do. Knight of Wands, yeah, I bet you feeling hurt. I bet you're feeling fucked up. And you know what's going to happen to this person? Because that's the original question that I asked. All right. With you releasing themselves, what's going to happen to them? Makes one worse off than ever before. Now, let me bring you back. I am protected at any cost by my ancestors. Okay. All negative things are being sent back. Return to sender. So all the gossip, all the this, this, that, and the other, all the spreading business, if this person was gossiping about you, um, if this person was plotting against you, if this person was stealing from you, if this person was siphoning your energy, that shit is dead. Because they about to be worse off than ever before. Okay, it says tricks mortals into being bound. Yeah, this person finna be tied the fuck up, not me. It also says accepts child sacrifices. So um, prepare for part of your generational line to be fucked up. Because you're fucking with my ancestors. I, I, I can stop, you know, and, and not worry about you anymore. You know, angel baby. Like you can you literally, like you could stop and never think about this person again. It could just be a very faint memory. Maybe you watch something on TV. It reminds you of it real quick. Boom, gone. But the ancestors, when they get involved... Okay, how do you not know that there are, you know, 36 years is like maybe an, a day to them? We don't know what their time frame is like. We don't know what spirit's time frame is like. Okay, we can be here for 100 years and that'll just be a week to them. You don't know. So when it says makes one worse off than ever before, that's a lot of fucking bad karma coming back because... You, Angel Baby, decided to take your power back and love yourself. All right? This person's going to be fucked up. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They're going to lose money. Anything that they built going to crumble. And I hate to sound like fucking uh, silly from the color purple, but everything this person touches is just going to crumble. Maybe that's the only shit that this person understands is it, it, ignorant ass talk. You shall is ugly. They probably didn't hear that all their fucking life. Ooh. I don't know what made me pull this out, but it says switch it up. Yeah, this person needs to find something else to do with their life. You have to prove it. Yeah. 
they gonna have to prove it to you, okay? If they wanna build some type of trust with you, because we do have the trust card here, you you gonna have to prove that shit. Sorry. It says I'm in love with you, patient. They can be patient all the fuck they want, okay? Because look what's happening: no communication, judgment from the Most High, and manifestation, transformation. They're not gonna be able to touch you. They're not gonna be able to catch up to you. Look at the wings. They can fly away from your dumb ass okay if you are cross watching good lord so I, and I love i'm in love with you ain't gonna be enough i'm not good enough no it's not good enough okay like if you are somebody that's this cold and calculating okay and you you preferably inflict pain on people because you have issues that you didn't want to work with you didn't even want to work on yourself but you expect somebody to work on it with you what fucking sense does that make no, it's not good enough, okay? It says, I'm over it now. Yeah, angel babies, y'all are over it now. Over it, okay? Somebody's ex is on their mind. Somebody's full of shit, all right? I don't know. I'll fly here. Go. Go away. Go away. All right, but like literally, somebody's full of shit. Literally full of shit. My ex is on my mind, call them. So somebody's been talking to their ex on the low and they're a calculated, manipulative ass bitch. Okay, they could be a Scorpio, Capricorn, or a Taurus, Virgo. Okay, I'm really thinking like Capricorn possibly. But, um, bruh, like, I cannot. I really cannot. I really cannot with this reading. Let's get some moonology cards because I feel like this person, they chose the right one. The answers you need are coming. Full moon and Gemini. So somebody really wants to get into contact with you. Possibly this person, this two-faced ass person. Okay, this. I, I'm a narcissist and a sociopath, but I'm also, I could also be a nice person. No. All right, somebody wants to try and get, whoo, time to breathe out. Take, take time to breathe out. Yeah, take time to get rid of this bullshit, this energy. Like I said, you're taking baby steps, okay? You're trusting yourself. You're taking baby steps on healing. So I feel like spirit is just like, keep doing that. All right, and we have, it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. Yeah, it's time to take action. If you haven't moved away from this person, it, it's time, okay? Because nothing is set in stone. Nothing set in stone. A fiery climax approaches more Capricorn energy. Didn't I tell you? All right. And this is a full moon. It's going to be full of emotion. And this person is going to be mad as fuck. All right. We got nourishment. Okay. You're nourishing yourself. They know that you're over it and that you're shielding yourself, okay? And they're upset, okay? Because for some of them, they in some type of poly-ass relationship, okay? They with somebody that they know is in love with somebody else, bitch. Oh, poor little Ting Ting. Poor little Ting Ting. Have faith in your dreams. So just keep following your dreams, angel baby. There's nothing that this person's going to be able to do to, to bother you, to try and get with you. And you want to know why you see that purple there? You see that moon in the background? It don't look like a full moon, but that moon is there. So you see every fucking thing coming to you. Nobody can pull the wool over your eyes because you're going to see it. So you may be intuitive like me. You may be able to channel like me. You may literally be a medium like me. And every time somebody sends you something, it's automatically blocked, automatically defended, automatic brutality. Pull your fucking spine out, bitch. All right. You ain't got to do nothing. You don't have to lift a physical finger, put a toe anywhere. You don't have to put your foot in the door. Nothing needs to happen for something bad to happen to these people because I feel like your energy, like you vibrate so high past this that it's just like, like I honestly don't even feel like you're bothered by this person. All right. We, <laughs> didn't I say y'all was manifesting and this person was pissed the fuck off? Okay. Co-creation, gratitude, divine alignment, joyful visions. Okay. Breathing. Feel sensations, purity, clarity, expressions. It literally said breathe out, okay? Breathe, angel babies. <sighs> Take a breath. Breathe, 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 all right? But you are divinely protected. Like, within a breath, it's cool. 
if you breathe in, that's how quick that shit will bounce back to this person. That negative shit that they be sending to you. As soon as they breathe, it's back to them. Cosmic self. You are a cosmic being. Stay confident in your truth. All right, that's what they didn't know, that you're a cosmic being. Okay, that's what they didn't know is that you were powerful, that you were able to transform yourself, that your spirit shines so fucking bright, okay, that you are the chosen one. You are the one with the shit that they want and they're envious as fuck that they can't have it. They can't dim your light. They can't even get close enough to you for a conversation. Circles, cosmic circles. Sacred space. Embrace unlimited possibilities. You created a sacred space for yourself. And now the ancestors and your spirit guides who all love you and care about you and mean well for you and the people around you and no harm, all right, are with you 24-7, protecting you, watching over you, right here with you. You have met your soul family and you are untouchable now nothing is set in stone this person thought that they had you but that shit wasn't set in stone they're like oh i'm not good enough no you want to know why because you're fucking toxic as fuck being cold and calculated like that and look at that integration you see all the other people that look alike didn't i just say you met your soul family some of y'all had dreams about your soul family and that's how you know they're there. That boosted your fucking confidence and I know it did for me. Forgive self and others. Reunion. Let go of defenses and open the door, okay? Open the door to yourself. Don't open the door for people that are gonna, you know, have you kind of fucked up, okay? The people that are won't even cry for you, okay, when you're going through something terrible, People that are envious, gluttonous, they see you have something they just wanted. They see you go to the grocery store, so now they gotta go to the grocery store. All right? Keeping up with the fucking Joneses for what? For what? We don't play play over here. All right, angel babies, I call y'all angel babies for a reason. Y'all are angels in training. Y'all are earth angels in training. So act like it. Stop letting the next bitch come in and use your fucking energy. Try and siphon off your good energy because they don't know how to get shit for themselves. Literally. And a lot of y'all, I'm not even talking about nothing physical. I'm talking about spiritual shit, Okay. Somebody wants you to say, it's always better when we're together. Fuck that shit. If you ain't doing the right shit, it ain't good when we're together. All right? Somebody, like I said, somebody really wants to come back. Somebody really wants to come back. And spirit is blocking the fuck out of that shit. Literally. But this is a really good reading, like I said. All right, you are more than welcome to look in the description box and get in contact with me for a personal reading. All right, I won't be available for the month of November because I will be spending um, some quality, quality time, excuse me, quality time <laughs> with my um, children, all right, for the, both of their birthdays are then. So we are going to you know, be holding off on readings. I may pop in. I'm more than likely, I know I'll pop in for readings, okay, from time to time, but it won't be as steady in the month of November, all right? But if you need me for a personal reading, you already know, look in the description box, all right? Because that's where you're going to find all of my information, okay? If you would like to follow me on Facebook, okay, I have a Facebook. It's called Angel Conjure, okay? It does not have the baby in it. It's just Angel Conjure, all right? So you can go ahead and check me out on there. I do post, like, little silly stuff, 